Have you ever thought that your posture stinks, that you just need to stand up straight, keep your head up, shoulders back? Well, that's a common method or a common uh, a solution that people have when they have, especially as forward head posture, and I call it the turtle posture. So I'm going to go over why sometimes that might not be the best for you and why you need a little bit more thorough way to know if that exercise or that practice is actually going to do more harm than good. So check this out. There's a study done showing or, or trying to analyze two main methods of finding out like what your posture is like, how it's affecting your spine, or actually, you know, checking this forward head posture that's so common that can cause neck pain, that can cause even breathing issues because of the stress that it places on our, our lungs and being able to oxygenate our bodies. So they checked two ways. One was x-rays. So they took x-rays of the spine, of the neck to see, all right, what is the actual alignment of the neck bones? And number two, they took photos, external photos to measure the angle of the head relative to the body, which I'll show you in a second. So comparing those two, and there's pluses and minuses, advantages and disadvantages for, for either of those. X-rays, obviously, they cost a little bit more and, you know, you get radiation. But again, you know, the radiation isn't really something to fear for this level of, of X-ray, which I did a video on and I'll, I'll link to as well. Uh, and the photos, although they're quicker, they might not be as accurate with what the spine is actually doing. And the spine directs your posture. And if your po posture is in a, a bad position like it is so often, whether you're on your technology, computer, phone, playing games, sitting down, driving, sleeping, where we're getting these flexed postures and just gravity in general pulling us down, it, it posture is affected by those and then that in turn affects what happens to your spine and then your spine directs your posture and it's this cycle. So they looked at those two methods and here's what they found. They found that there was a weak connection between what the photos showed and what the x-rays revealed about the, the next actual structure, what the, what the positioning of the bones were. So while the photos, yes, they're convenient for basic checks. And again, I do posture in, in spinal mobility assessments. It's a great check, but they can't always replace or they can't replace the detailed view of, of what the x-rays provide when diagnosing and treating posture-related neck problems. So here's, again, what they measured, this angle here. You know, they took the photo and measured this angle to see what that was and then compared it to what the x-ray actually showed in the spine for the neck. So for example, so here is different forward head postures. So this is a patient here with a forward head posture. You know, it's a head of the line. So it can present on x-ray with different spinal positions, different uh, structure of the spine. So just to acclimate you, green is ideal that's got the normal neck curve and your head's up over your shoulders, no forward head posture when this aligns with that. Or here is the red outlining the neck bones. So you see there's forward head posture, but there's a curve. But in this one, you see there's forward head posture, but no curve. It's straight. And that again stretches the spinal cord and puts a lot of stress on the system. And then here, again, forward head posture where this, again, the red, the top here is in front of the green line, and now it's reversed. So in these cases, the therapy would be different. The rehab procedure would be different. The traction would be different depending on what you see here. And that can be important because if you have forward head posture in this type of spinal arrangement, or even this one, and you did just the you know classic chin tucks. So for example, you just did the chin tucks that so many of you have probably see and have been told to do, which again, inherently isn't bad, but unless you know what your spine looks like, it can cause more problems and maybe even cause it to be more distorted that, than that.
All right, so a couple things. Here's a simple at-home neck strengthening exercise that's pretty safe for uh, all different types of neck alignments. But you know, even when you see this video, I mentioned that depending on what the shape of your neck is, if it's, and we'll go back to here. So for example, if, if it's more in this type of arrangement, then we want to pull with the towel attached like to the lower part of your neck, pulling down on an angle. Whereas if it's in the mid part of the neck where it's reversed in this position in the mid part. So again, you got two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So if you got like four and five, that is, you see where it's going on the opposite direction, you pull it more straight. But again, that's explained in the video. Um, Here's another resource I wanna give you. Uh, again, four ways to help strengthen your spine using uh, nutrition, hydration, using uh, exercise, using um, uh, traction, like a, a general traction protocol on how to help take stress off your neck, help with forward head posture, type spine in the comments and I'll get that to you. And then I mentioned this already, can I do posture and spinal mobility assessments? This is a great, uh, a resource for you to have. It's a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me where we meet on Zoom. We meet virtually so we can do this from anywhere in the world, anywhere you are. And I can analyze and, and, and uh, assess your posture as a, a measure of, okay, do you, would it be a good idea to find someone near you or find somewhere to get standing spinal x-rays so we can actually see what your internal spinal structure looks like so we can be more thorough, be more comprehensive, be more uh, accurate and precise with what type of exercises, traction, lifestyle adjustments that you need. So I'll provide those links. I'll provide this link in the, in the description. So just click on that and we can get started.